The HP ZBook Studio G9 might be one of the best creative laptops that you can take with you on the go. It looks very modern, with slim bezels and a great screen in front, while harnessing older Lake H series processors and both gaming and creative ready GPUs from the RTX 30 series and A series. As we said before, the ZBook carries itself with style, offering a thin and light body with a weight of 1.78 kg and a thickness of 19.3 mm. The device is durable and while the lid definitely feels like aluminum, the base has a soft touch coating, so we don't know the material that's used for it. The design is striking with rounded edges and corners in the front, while the back is sharper. Opening the lid is easy with one hand, but what's more interesting is the hinge mechanism which leaves the rear end, providing ample airflow that will be needed to cool down the hardware inside. From here we see the base with two large speaker grills and a fingerprint reader along with a keyboard and touchpad. The board lacks a numpad, a bit weird considering the 16-inch footprint, but typing is still great. There is also an option for a Z-Command keyboard, which tries to replicate the MacBook experience. The touchpad might be the largest that we've ever seen, sporting a super smooth glass surface with fast and accurate tracking. The ZBook splits the I.O. on the left and right. The left has a power plug, two Thunderbolt 4 ports and an audio jack. Then on the right we see a security lock slot, one full-size 5 gigabit USB port, one 10 gigabit USB Type-C port and a micro SD card slot. Together with the thin bezels, we get a 16-inch Full HD Plus IPS display with a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, signifying the laptop's focus on productivity. The panel reaches 438 nits at max brightness with a high contrast ratio. It also covers 99% of the sRGB gamut while providing excellent accuracy with our design and gaming profile, which we'll have linked in the description. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome! Inside the device, there is an 86 watt hour battery pack, which lasts for 15 hours and 14 minutes of web browsing, or 13 hours and 29 minutes of video playback. An excellent result given the Core i7 12800H and RTX A3000 inside. In quick bursts and short tasks, such as Photoshop, the 12800H is still very fast, making the ZBook Studio G9 one of the quickest devices in its segment. The RTX A3000 fares much better, however matching many of its competitors in benchmarks. HP has implemented a decently sized vapor chamber, with two fans moving the hot air away from the chassis. In the stress test, the Core i7-12800H goes past its 45W base TDP while maintaining low temperatures and decent clock speeds. As for the GPU, the ZBook doesn't push its RTX A3000 as hard as it can, as the temperature hovers around 64 degrees Celsius. Lastly, comfort-wise, the fans want to scream, which results in noticeably high nose levels. The base does get warm, but doesn't go over 40 degrees Celsius. The laptop has slots for both RAM and storage upgradability, with two SATIM slots for DDR5 memory and one M.2 slot that supports Gen 4 drives. If you need help getting inside the ZBook Studio G9, then our teardown video is right for you, giving you a step-by-step -step process. We'll have it linked in the upper right corner. The HP ZBook Studio G9 is not without its flaws. The build quality, features and display selection are excellent, however, we would have loved to see more performance from the Core i7-12800H CPU, especially in prolonged tasks, as we think the Faber chamber can take more. However, if you are not going to use it for video editing, the Studio G9 is still a beast. If you want to see more tests and tools about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.